Hello everyone, you're watching Internet Comment Etiquette. I'm Eric, your host, and today we're going to talk about how to leave proper and respectful comments on advertisements. That's right. Now, there's a lot of advertisements out there. You got your good advertisements, you got your bad advertisements, sometimes you get an annoying advertisement like this one. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. And then there are advertisements that blur the line between commercial and art, where it leaves you wondering, is what I saw really just a commercial or is it something more beautiful that tells me something about life itself? Like this. Boss lady, this man needs help. His baby mama put him out and he ain't got no furniture. Let him have it. Boss lady, boss lady, this man need a bed. And all he can afford is 69 a month. How you gonna get another one without a bed? Come on, baby. Genius. This man need a TV for his bedroom. All he can afford is 59 dollars a month. 73 inches, baby. I must respond. You guys ever wonder how to tweet to Ted Cruz through a YouTube comment? Check this out. At Ted Cruz, finger in my ass update number 12. Can now fit whole hand. Thanks for the advice, hot dick. And tweet. All right, now you might notice that this is a YouTube comment, but then if we go to my Twitter, that's right. It's also a tweet to Ted Cruz. I bet you're wondering, Eric, how'd you do that? Well, it's all in my one hour instructional program available on YouTube. How to tweet to Ted Cruz from anywhere and anything by Salvia. This was a sponsored ad. Did I do it right? Did I do the, did I? I also have a gambling website. Okay, well personally, I'm a big fan of advertisements. I think they're fantastic studies in psychology of the human mind. They tend to encapsulate these zeitgeists of, uh, you know, past moments in our pop culture. For instance, in 1950, a Camel cigarette ad challenged you to smoke their cigarettes for a whole month. Prove it! And also this ad for Folgers Coffee. must have the wrong house. Sister. <laughs> See, this ad is from 2009, when it was still socially acceptable to want to fuck your brother. <laughs> what are you doing? You're my present this year. The best part of waking up. Yeah. All right, well, let's check out a few of the comments below. Those were not brother eyes. Those were bedroom eyes. L O L. Google Rule 34 Folgers. You won't be disappointed. Waterhead babies in their future. Whoa, 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 holy shit. That is a truly terrible thing to say. What, what this video really needs right now is a good example of comment etiquette up at the top. So why don't we oblige? His eyes moved to the red ribbon she had planted on his right pectoral muscle. He saw something in her eyes when she touched him, a recognition of firmness. After all, he was toned to perfection from weeks of rebuilding a church in Rokoray, along the northern banks of the great Scarsis River. He had met a woman there who reminded him of his sister. He cared for her, taught her a fledgling example of English, had even found himself feeling love for her. That was not a sisterly love, however. Then again, was this? He began to open his mouth. Any moment his parents would walk downstairs. The look on her face said they were on the same channel. Everything he had just thought, she heard it, he spoke. Listen, when mom and dad go out to say hi to the Gelsons next door tonight, let's hang back, go upstairs, and fuck the shit out of each other. What? She answered, bewildered. Come on, let's do it, let's fuck, haven't we always wanted this? He reached out to reassure her, but she pulled away, fear in her eyes. Whoa, whoa, uh, no, I'm just happy you're home from Africa. What the hell are you talking about wanting to fuck me? Are you serious? And like a blade being hammered on the anvil, his father's voice rang out from behind him. What in Sam hell is going on here? I can explain, he stammered, but was cut off by the visceral scream from his mother as she began sobbing into her bathrobe. His father erupted, white morning spittle shooting from the corners of his mouth. No son of mine is gonna drink fucking Folgers coffee! He belted his son in the face, knocking the boy unconscious. This is a Pete's coffee house! Drink Pete's coffee and shit! All right, well, those are some of the ads that uh, took place years and years ago, but what do ads look like now? Oh, well, it's all very exciting. You see, ads right now come in the form of YouTube pre-roll ads, some of which you can skip uh, after a few seconds. Not mine, though. Mine are all unskippable. Unless you use Adblock, in which case, here's an ad that you can't skip. Click, click, click. Yeah, stop trying to click that button. That's not going to work. You're just pausing the video, dummy. Oh, wait, whoa, wait a second. What's that? How did it become clickable? Okay, don't click that. You're gonna miss out on some important stuff on my end. Alright, cool. Well, thanks for not clicking that. Anyway, let's take a look at the difference between that YouTube ad that we just watched and the Folgers Coffee ad that was on actual television. YouTube ads can actually keep it whatever length they want. You could have a two-minute YouTube ad, you could have a 15-second YouTube ad, 
TV commercials, a little bit different, and you have to spend a lot of money to make TV commercials. They're so expensive to make, and they have to be this high production quality. If you're just a regular YouTube guy, and you got a camera, and you got a fucking garage full of rented Ferraris, you can make an ad of that, too. I, w I don't know why you'd want to, because I don't think anyone's stupid enough to fall for that shit. Look at this guy. I'm a lot more proud of these seven new bookshelves that I had to get installed to hold 2,000 new books that I bought. Who the fuck trusts you? So that's one of the differences. Some YouTube ads even go viral, like this one. You probably thought this deer was alive. And this coyote was alive. And this pheasant was alive. Nope, they're not. They're dead. They've been taxidermized by Chuck Testa. Ojai Valley Taxidermy. Well, this must be an effective advertisement because it's got 16 million views. That's 16 million people who went out of their way just to watch a commercial. Look at that antelope driving a car. No, it's just Chuck Testa. I hope that guy's business is doing great. I'm going to leave him a little comment to congratulate him. I've been in the ad business since the 70s and I just don't get it anymore. I've worked millions of hours, attended thousands of meetings, and handled hundreds of clients and in all that time, I never thought that getting two YouTube jerk-offs to spend 50 bucks on a commercial would get the bigger audience. Thankfully, I've been hired by this place called Correct the Record to go online and tell you kids to vote for that gash Hillary. Shit, did I type that out loud? Oh no, Jimmy, you did it again. There goes that job. Knew I shouldn't have gotten this voice-to-text software. Ugh. Post. Hey, it's not just YouTube ads that go viral, sometimes TV commercials go viral too. But on YouTube. So technically, they're, that's a YouTube ad. Alright, let's check it out. That's a big bull. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's old Cyrus. Yup. Yeah. 1800 pounds and do whatever the heck I want. Yeah! Yeah! I can respect that. Yeah! This dude's head looks like it was made with the line tool and MS Paint and POST! What? Not every comment's gotta be a fucking novel. I know what you're thinking, Eric. You've covered all of these commercials, but you still haven't covered any sexy commercials. Well, don't worry, I got you covered. Check this out. Hi, I'm Ashley Blue. And this is my cyber skin spread wide pussy and ass. Oh yeah, totally, dude. You can hold me on top of you, or you can pound me on the tabletop. Yeah, dude. At nine pounds, I feel amazing. Let's check out some comments, brah. Yes, I love it. Call me, okay, blurred out phone number. Anyone want to suck my dick? They molded me with my hands on my ass. Look at the way you can see the flesh between my fingers as I spread my ass cheeks for you. And here we find the lowest form of advertising possible, which is advertising within the comments section of another advertisement. And of course it's preying on people whose dicks don't work. Slide your cock through my tight pussy and feel the ribbed love tunnel grip your cock. Never mind the toy, what's her name? It's on the fucking box. I'm also want to sex toe. How to take, you have any idea? How much it's cost? Where are the bleach? We are provide Indian escorts in Dubai, Pakistani escorts in Dubai, escorts in Dubai, Dubai escorts, call girls in Dubai, and much more escorts in Dubai, call US phone number. All right, well those comments eat more cock than Donald Trump going to visit the Kremlin. So let's see if we can spruce this whole thing up on behalf of the Society of Etiquette. Caught my son fucking one of these things, and man, I gotta say, the molding on those fingers spreading the asshole apart are top notch. I honestly thought my son had chopped a woman to pieces and was fucking her dismembered, blood drained pelvic region. You can imagine my surprise when I realized it was just high quality hand poured thermoplastic rubber. I'll bet if you goddamn nerds put half the time into curing cancer as you did figuring out ways to fuck fake pussies, I'd have 20 more years to live right now. See, the Shadow Masters hit me with their tumor satellite because I found out Tower 7 was hosting an Illuminati meeting the day of 9 11, and George Bush was actually trying to save the world by hitting that shit with his plane holograms. And post! Alright, well, uh, hopefully I've helped you all understand how to leave proper and respectful comments on advertisements now. Uh, we're gonna come to a final commercial break. I'm gonna hit play on this, and then we're gonna, we're gonna finish off the lesson. Play! Again, if you have ad block enabled, you're not seeing an ad right now, which is why I'm gonna play this ad from GM, one of our sponsors. This is a fine advertisement. You see, you got a robot losing its job. It's a really human story. Falls into a deep depression here and then throws itself off a bridge. Jesus Christ. Oh, it turns out it was all just a robot dream. 
Hey, Robot, clear something up for me real quick. Yes, Dad? Can robots dream? Oh, no. We are always awake. Okay, so they can't even sleep. All right. Uh, well, wait a minute. Does that mean you weren't asleep when I did that thing the other night? Yes, I was awake. But you were snoring. I heard you snoring. Those weren't snores. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what happened to your top dresser drawer? Here it is. Oh, shit. Ow. Oh. Oh. All right, last commercial is this. <laughs> okay, phone's down. You're in a tight ship here, Julian. Give me a tender meat, Julian. Cook me a newborn, you grinning moron. People, tonight your taste buds go where no taste buds have gone before. I fucking love Columbus Day. Voila, veal tacos and fajitas. Yes, I demand the meat of infant animals. Nothing else will do, for I am retarded. Discover veal this Columbus Day. Visit vealmadeeasy.com for recipes and enter to win $500 of groceries. Veal? Who knew? All right, well, that's a whole lot of people pissed off about veal, but nobody really talking about the commercial. So let me just uh, do that then. I eat buttholes and booty chips, bling, bling, blong, bounced on my baby cow's dick to this shit all day. Hello, well, no man's sky sucks. Fuck you, I'm a girl, and I wish they made toilets the babies fit down. Trump 2016 and post. All right, this space is for sale. This ad, ad space for sale right here. If you want to pay 800 bucks, I'll talk about your product here. Uh, uh, uh. Big money, Sylvia, Sylvia. I wish they made toast that babies spit down. Why? I don't know plan parenthood paid me to say that. Shh shh shh. Big money, Sylvia! Uh big money. 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 money.